morning everyone and welcome to the weekly reading. Today is Diwali week. I mean today starts Diwali week. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have a really interesting and sensitive reading this year, this week because it's surprising how sweet, how gentle and how caring this week's reading is. And we start with a word of confidence for health. Do you remember the Abracadabra which she's come back with? She's come back. She's been there for us before. And what she's saying is again there is help everywhere you can look you want something go out and ask for it she's also saying that there's a pleasant surprise coming your way and you will be really excited about what comes your way because you probably have not had that come to you before and you've been waiting for it to happen and there's some sort of surprise and a happy and a really amazing surprise coming to you and you have just best stay back and enjoy it don't think about it too much don't analyze it too much don't wonder why how when where you know all of that don't don't analyze it just enjoy it be grateful that it's there and have a great time enjoying the surprise that the universe is giving you now starting the week monday and tuesday we are the world this card is talking to us about how actually togetherness in the festive mood, the togetherness is what is going to bring us together, is what is going to take us further and is going to show us that in keeping with what she has to say, that there is help everywhere, there is a potential of so many people coming together just for you. When you need something, you'll be surprised how there are people around you to give it to you. It is time you opened up, you noticed and you become that one person that is ready to give help when it is needed. This is our time to come together. It's our time to merge. It is our time to understand that every color in the rainbow plays its part to make it a rainbow. Without any of those colors, it would not have been a rainbow, a complete rainbow. And it would just be like a shadow of a rainbow, not even a rainbow. So we are all very important in every single thing we're doing and it is our chance to now prove the fact that we understand that and we want to be as important as that and that we honor the fact that we have, we have the good luck to really be that important. So Monday and Tuesday are really group energy working. I hope you guys have like an awesome... Um, you know, an awesome group of people you're working with, an awesome group of people you're living with, an awesome group of people you're with anyways. And everywhere that you go, you find an awesome group of people. That is what Monday and Tuesday say. Wednesday. Ordinariness. See how beautifully it continues. If we realize that all of us are as special as the other and that being special is the new ordinary, you don't have to be extraordinary. By being extraordinary, you're trying to make yourself different and, you know, above people and no. We're all just really ordinary people and in that ordinariness is what the extraordinary will blossom. Is how the extraordinary will blossom. <laughs> Not what. It's basically so easy to be us, you know, instead of trying to be someone else. We don't have to try and be someone else. We just have to be ourselves. And we ourselves have so much power. We have so much specialness inside us that it is time we looked inside and realized that being as ordinary as I am, I am inherently extraordinary. And everyone else around me is equally extraordinary because they have their secret powers as well. You know, deep inside, we're all a superhero. We're all, we're all a superman, a supergirl. We're all just extraordinary within ourselves. We just don't know what our superpower is. Wednesday is a time to recognize your superpower. To recognize it. To recognize how beautifully ordinary you are, which is why you are extraordinary. It is a time to shine bright, bright and as bright as possible. And now it is time for Thursday and Friday, which is Diwali and the day after Diwali. Uh, so, yeah, experiencing. It's a time for togetherness, a time for family. It's a time to understand how special everybody is, not just you or me, everybody is. And this card is telling us about opening ourselves to experiencing the smallest, the slightest, the most beautiful thing around us. You know, we don't need to see firecrackers. We don't need to see firecrackers around us to see that, oh my God, this is a different experience, it's a new experience. No. You know, those little butterflies in your tummy when something happens, or a little pang in your heart when, when you experience something, when you cross someone. 
or just that that silence inside that knows this is it this is just what i was looking for you know these experiences are so gentle and they're so they're so beautiful that we miss out on them we don't need to miss out on them things don't need to be loud and things don't need to be crass and things don't need to be in your face all the time it is gentleness look at the way this girl is standing look at her she's actually experiencing being with a tree she's experiencing the being of a tree she's just holding on to this tree and she's understanding how she and the tree connect an understanding of everyone is one and that we are all as ordinary and extraordinary as the other and then experiencing this so this is the mind this is the soul this is the experiencing of that it is time to really open yourself up open your heart open your mind open your being out to really experiencing things it is a new beginning a really strong new beginning the question is will you invite it will you allow it to come to you will you allow this new beginning to become a beginning where everybody everybody can share that everyone can celebrate and no one has to ask twice or think twice about anything where communication is easy is open is honest and is from the heart instead of a planning and plotting from the mind what is the experience you are going to choose in this new year is what this card is talking to you about it is asking you what do you choose to experience and how do you choose to experience your new year a new year is like a new life it is a new opportunity it is a new beginning what do you plan to experience in your life so that is diwali week i hope you guys have a great time celebrate a lot and please try not to burst crackers pollution too much noise and a lot of children dying because of making those crackers and no matter how much child labor policies we have how many of them we have there are still people who are using children to do this let's try and avoid this absolutely avoid this let's try and have a really safe beautiful and a prosperous diwali and a happy new year for every everyone possible we are the world we are together we're all one being let's take care of every part of ourselves not just this part of ourselves let's unite let's stand together and let's make this world a beautiful place to live in at least for these couple of days and i hope we carry forward this emotion of making it beautiful but at least this week let's try and make it as beautiful as simple and as giving as possible have a great day diwali you guys lots of love and um, if you guys want a reading for the new year or how everything is going to be in the new year uh you can message me on shakti s h a k t i at goddessbreath.com or just go and check my website at goddessbreath.wordpress.com book your readings and i'll be happy to share them with you have a great diwali guys lots of love bye bye see you on saturday hmm.